Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how I tone and do a purple bath on my hair extensions to make them this really nice icy white colour. So if you're interested to see how I do them, then just continue to watch. Hi guys, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Juliet and I do three videos a week on all sorts. I do lots of beauty, fashion, and lifestyle videos. So if that's the kind of thing you're interested in, there is a little subscribe button down there in red somewhere. I would love for you to click that and stick around. It's completely free and entirely up to you. But without further ado, let's get into today's video. So I get asked a lot about how I tone my hair extensions. So these are my Zala seamless clip-ins. Can I just say, they are honestly my favourite ones so far. We'll leave these extensions linked below. I get the shade 613 in a... These are a 16 inch, I believe. And this is the, it's the nine piece extension set. So I love a tape extension, but I'm trying to look after my hair more. And therefore these are just clip-ins that I can wear for filming or if I go out on the odd occasion. And a lot of people ask me how I tone them. And it's really, really, really easy. So I wanted to show you how I do it. So let's get straight into it. So, so this is the color of the extensions before. You can see it's not quite a yellowy, blonde so we're going to sh i'm going to show you how i do a purple shampoo bath it's really really easy first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that your extensions are tied at the top with a bubble if you've got tape extensions or anything with an adhesive on the top you don't want to get these wet so that is why i tie them so that they are out of the way and the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to pop on some gloves because i find that the purple shampoo bath sometimes stains and then what you want to do is just run some lukewarm water so you don't want the water too hot but you also want it not cold either because you want the water to open up the cuticles but too hot will damage the hair so you want to run enough to be able to submerge your hair extensions and then all you're going to do is get some purple shampoo so i normally use fudge purple shampoo i have bought some finola recently but this is the one i normally use and you just want to cook, put a couple of pumps of purple shampoo into the water and then mix it up. And your water will go purple like this. You want to make sure that all the shampoo is dissolved because you don't want to have like chunks of purple shampoo because you will get the spots in your extensions. Blonde extensions are so porous because every hair extension starts as black hair. So bleached blonde shades are the most processed so they will be the most porous Once that is purple and ready to go move those suds out of the way so you just get your hair and then you dip it in into the purple shampoo making sure you don't get the tops wet give them a swirl around make sure they're nice and saturated and take them out and you will see instantly can you see how they've picked up those purple tones so you might just need to dip it in a bit more just make sure you've got every single piece and then you want to drain off the purple shampoo straight away can you see there already how much that has taken and now you want to drain this water away. So the next thing we're going to do is just rinse, make sure all the purple shampoo is rinsed out. What I like to do is give them a quick rinse into the tap. Quick rinse. See how much purple is coming out of there now. Now they're all rinsed, I'm going to fill up the sink just to give them a soak in clean water. Uh, this is just to make sure all the purple shampoo is out. You can see the colour that these are looking already look. You've got some bits in there that will pick up the purple more than others. That is perfectly normal. It's just the same in your own hair. Then we're going to get rid of this water again. And with extensions, you really, at this point, want to really condition the hair. So I really love to use Aussie 3 Minute Miracle. You can use a conditioner that you can get from either Zala or from wherever your hair extensions are from. But you want to make sure you've got a really good conditioner. And then what I like to do is completely saturate the hair extensions. This is like a treatment because... 
hair extensions shouldn't really be shampooed that often because obviously they don't have their own natural oils like your own hair does but there is no other way to do this than with purple shampoo so you need to put all those oils back in and conditioner is how you do that i like to put loads in because i think the more the merrier again staying away from the top now you can just do it like a normal conditioner and pop it in and leave it for a few minutes what i like to do is leave it in for an hour or so and give them a good condition for the purpose of this video i'm just going to do it now just to show you so you pop all your conditioner in make sure all the hair is completely moisturized and then leave it once that's all soaked in for a while you just want to do the same thing again so get your water to a nice warm temperature not too hot not too cold and then rinse all the conditioner out so you might lose a little bit more purple when you do this it's again only just like washing your natural hair but you can see the shine you've got on that now it's a beautiful ashy color and you just want to keep going and make sure you've got all the conditioner out and that is it so this is what it looks like straight wet what i like to do is leave it to dry a bit naturally um, i do dry it with a hair dryer as well even though you can just let it dry 100 percent naturally but i find my hair goes smoother if i dry it the last the last few minutes with a hair dryer so i'll go and show you how i do that and what they look like dry okay so i've actually got my extensions sticking in a drawer right now and this is just the best way to put them for me to dry them you can towel dry them a bit first leave them to dry a bit naturally first and then i've just popped in some of this this is the revlon unique one and i love this stuff my hairdresser recommended this but it's great because it's got 10 benefits in one and it also includes a heat protector so you want to make sure that you are like i say putting loads and loads of condition into your extensions so focusing on the ends put some of this through and then now i'm going to dry them with my hair dryer okay so this is them dry and i wanted to quickly show you this because this is another product from zala that i absolutely love and it is called that you find a bit battered now it's called the revive me i've had this for ages and look how much is left but this is why i wanted to quickly show you it so I have dried some of them quickly to show you what they look like and when you dry with a hairdryer they can go quite frizzy so look here so this is what they look like when you dry them they haven't been straightened they haven't been styled they're just popped in as is and you can see there it's still really shiny and silky but they're a bit frizzy and this side i've just run through the revive me i'm still obviously going to style this anyway now but you can see how much whiter these are compared to how they were before and i just want to quickly show you this product because look at that so all you do is you get your revive me you put a couple of pumps into your hand I rub it together and watch this it's almost like a smoothing serum but for your extensions and it takes away that frizz and just makes them so silky and lovely but i just wanted to quickly show you because it's like literally like magic look at that now so look how white they are i'm going to go and style these now just to show you them but i just wanted to quickly dry them and show you that serum stuff because sometimes you haven't got time to wait for your hair to towel dry and um, to dry naturally and so that is what they look like if you dry them with a hair dryer they sometimes have a bit of curling if the hair that they've taken them from has got natural curling i really like them like this but because i'm going to be filming i am going to put a curl in but can you see how much better they blend now with my own hair you can see my hair because my hair is dead straight and these have got a bit of a wave to them but yeah that is the color after they've had a purple bath i literally just grab pieces and do a tiny curl almost more so on the ends of the extensions and it's just all just to give like more of a blow dry effect uh, i don't necessarily worry about curling every single piece just making it look a little more natural and it also by doing this helps 
blend your clippings into your natural hair as well and that is it that is them with just like a little curling like i say just to make them look a little bit more natural and blend a little more but that is them toned with a purple shampoo bath as well and you can see how much whiter they are so i definitely would consider if you've got light hair like mine not getting the bleach blonde but just getting the 613 and then doing this with them because i think this makes so much difference we'll leave these extensions linked below i get the shade 613 or a 16 inch i believe and this is the it's the nine piece extension set and i absolutely love them i cannot fault them i think they're amazing and zala hair is just such good quality it's so silky it's so soft and smooth and they just last and that is why i love them so yeah i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and stick around and until next time guys take care Bye.